Okay, so we're going to do a five card this time. And the question is, which servitor should I work with this month to help my development continue to full term? From Sephira. Okay. Okay, so to explain the, the five cards, this is like a traditional three card spread, but the card that is the center is you is the crux of it. And it's probably your significant uh card. And um, this is what should be done about it, and this is what should be avoided. So um which servant should I work with this month to help my development continue? Well, I would suggest that the three in the middle are the ones you have to work with, but including it, uh, like the witch, the one definitely not to do is to work on the media or your PR or trying to get the word out or trying to advertise or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. It's, uh, you know, it's not about doing loads of social media posts or whatever it is that you particularly do. That's not, should not be the focus of it. Get balance between all the different things you have to juggle, but also, you know, have a look for new new opportunities, new things that you haven't really thought of before that are presenting themselves. And if someone says something to you during the month, we go, well, that's not really something that I, uh, I normally do. Maybe have a look at it again and go, well, is this, is this something that I'm not considering? Because on the other side, you have the I, which is saying that everything is the way it should be, that there's a, you know, there's a thing, there's an underlying structure that you may not be unaware of yet, or things are on track, everything is okay. You know, it's providence, it's uh, destiny, kismet, all this kind of stuff is, is the I. That everything is okay, even when it doesn't appear to be okay. And the thing to do then is to attack it with magic. Do lots of magic, attack the development through it. Through, you know, a magical attack as much as a kind of a business attack or mundane or, you know, logical attack. And even at the road opener is looking at magic. I suppose if, if you want to, there's the balance between uh, foraging into new areas and thinking, you know, and going along with the flow, say, between the road opener and the eye. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of all that's coming with that. Do some magic, look for new opportunities, keep everything in balance, and know that you're on the right track. Avoid doing any sort of PR, uh, advertising, or getting the word out type stuff. That shouldn't be the focus of what you're doing at the minute. Okay, so for Michelle, we're going to do a five card reading, um, and I just distill the question down to um, what advice or insight. Uh, can be given about the relationship between Michelle and her sister. Okay. The crux of it all, the model. Okay, so again, to explain this, kind of a standard enough tree card reading in the middle, but with this being the center. Um, often that's your significant significator card, but I don't think it is in this case. Then above it is what should be done, below us what should be avoided. Um, I suppose when you're talking about siblings and family and stuff like that, and then the mother comes out, you have to kind of go, well, there seems to be some something to do. The key to this seems to be something to do with the mother. Um, and again, we have like the giver and the, and the mother is looking at the giver slightly above it, which would just kind of suggest that maybe she thought she was a giver, but in fact, <laughs> wasn't really hitting the mark. Um, and also she has a back on the gatekeeper who isn't even looking at it either. So there's like, it there seems to be there's a bit of confusion. Um, unless of course it, it, it's in regard to, you know, 
bring it back to your sister. Um, something is if if you or her has a kind of a more mothery kind of feel to the relationship. If there's more like you feel like an older or the younger, or there's kind of some sort of hierarchy or something. But it seems to be the key to this seems to be in um, this kind of archetype or this feel of being the mother. The thing to be avoided in this case is the father is thinking that there's nothing that can be done about it. That it's just something that has to be endured. That it's some that's just one of those things. Um, and instead, the, the dead would suggest, it's, no, the, the, you know, learn from the past. There's definitely something family and ancestors and, you know, it, that, that is involved in all this. It's look to your past, look to your family. It's the mother's coming in. It's, it's, it's something bigger rather than just, say, the relationship between you and your sister. There's a bigger context in this that needs to, to be put uh, into place or, be you know, into play. Um, and of course the giver as well is this kind of it's a give and take relationship it's not just if someone's given something like it's that idea of like if you give a birthday present there's an implication that the person you give the birthday present and now has to give you a present on your birthday that you've entered into some sort of contract so maybe what i'm saying about the, whoever's this mother figure would be it your mother or your sister or you is looking above the contract it's not really on target with the contract is seeing above it isn't really paying attention it is aware of it but seeing it in a different way not not being seeing eye to eye with it there's no eye to eye thing going on here at all um apart from you can see that both these are like f head on cards father's looking at you dead the dead is looking at, at, at you these often reflect on each other what should be avoided what should be encouraged uh, looking to the past rather than thinking there's nothing you could do about it. But again, if you see, like you have the mother and the father in the in in the thing, so it's like look to the mother, don't look to the father. Look to the greater family, but not to the father. There's a lot going on in there, and I, I think probably maybe make more sense. You maybe make no sense to you whatsoever. But um, it's interesting when you talk about your sister, that then the mother and the father and family um, is what's coming up. It seems that. It's a wider context to this question that it should be considered in rather than just a very straightforward what can you tell me about the relationship with my sister? I'm just gonna read just make sure I'm not reading it or missing anything. Yeah, so just you know, it's just more or less saying that the relationship is good but it has has been peculiar in the past. Um because if the past being here, the key to it is in the past. Um Whatever was the reason why it was peculiar is the reason that the, the mother has turned her back on it. But it's also the key to the whole thing. So I hope in some way that helps. Um, let me know. It'd be interesting what you think of the reading too. What, what do you see in this? What's, what's coming out? What's popping out for you? Okay. Now to tree card for Lynn. Who can help me be in of the world but not of this? Hold on, let me read this properly then. What, who can help me be in on the world, but not of it, this month, and navigate world events? Okay. Oh, that was terrible. Let's try that again. Still not great. I am working on my shuffling. I've been doing... Uh, YouTube tutorials. Only the secret is to have your finger bent. Anyway. Okay. So. The crux of it all is you're trying to avoid feeling the death, being the desperate, okay? This is you. You're trying to not be that. Um, the solution being two ways to turn away from it as the chase is put your back to it and look to something greater she's looking towards the light as she sees, sees it so look at the, you know she's looking towards piety chasteness purity you know something rather than you know get entrenched entrenched in all the kind of terrible things of the world uh, hold on I can get in a bit close up Rather than being entrenched in all the terrible things of the world, she's looking to the light, to the divine, and seeing that, turning her back on the on desperation or whatever. The levitator is rising above it. But he is looking at him. Um, he is seeing him, uh, but choosing to rise above it, to be free, to float, to uh, be easy, to be, um, you know, 
lightweight, not to be heavy. So, uh, it's to not be of this world, but be in the world, is not to get burdened with it, not to get bogged down with it, not to take it too seriously. Um, as much as you can, I mean, you have to take it seriously, but to, to, to reorientate yourself towards the light rather than in that, and move up above it, see it from higher things, different perspectives, have a bit more wider view or gamut of the whole thing, a bit of bigger, wider perspective, and don't get entrenched, rise above it, don't get entrenched, look to the light. <laughs>